Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Brian Sanders. The last few days have been a whirlwind for Tulsa Mayor-elect G.T. Bynum. He doesn't take office until December 5th, but he says he'd like to hit the ground running. Two Works for You reporter Darcy Jackson sat down with Bynum this afternoon and is live with his post-campaign plans. Darcy. Well, Brian Bynum says that he hasn't slept much in the past couple of days after winning what he calls the ultimate job. Now his true truck shock of winning has turned into true excitement as he gets started shaping this future of Tulsa. Still can't believe it, really. I mean, it's one of those things. It's just a dream come true. It's been GT Bynum's wish to lead Tulsa into a new era and Tuesday night it became reality. That's when I realized, wow, we might have, we might be on to something here. <laughs> he beat current Mayor Dewey Bartlett by just over 10,000 votes on election night, what he considers a confirmation that his message resonated in town. He says his first term will kick off by helping Tulsa's youngest populations. Oh, I want to convene an education cabinet on day one, uh, bringing together our stakeholders from the different education entities throughout the city. We can start bringing people together and planning now. He'll be sworn in in December, but the planning to modernize city government starts now, all while holding down his duty as city councilor with colleagues he considers near and dear. And I have great relationships with every single member, uh, and many of them have already been reelected, and so we know that they'll be back. Uh, so I'm that's one of the reasons that I wanted to run this time. He has a mountain of challenges ahead of him, and he wants input and questions as he begins his journey to make Tulsa a competitive force in the U.S. and a better place to live. I want us to be back to expecting people to want to be in Tulsa. I want Tulsa to be the kind of place that people can't wait to move to uh, and that people that live in Tulsa would never think of moving somewhere else. Now, Byam's first act of business as mayor-elect is to clean up all of his hundreds of signs throughout town. He spent most of yesterday doing just that. So what happens now with his relationship with Mayor Dewey Bartlett, who he's worked with for years? We'll tell you what he has to say coming up at 6. In downtown Tulsa, Darcy Jackson, 2 Works for you. All right, thank you, Darcy.